What's up guys? Welcome to Essential Style. Taking it old school today, way back in my studio. Remember my very first video, actually my first two out of three videos were filmed in this studio. So made some changes, got some better lighting. Today we are going to answer the question of should you wear a tie with your suit or should you go ahead and just ditch the tie? Let's get it started. So recently, a lot more guys are dressing more casually. Guys aren't wearing suits like they used to, which I think is a bit of a shame because there's nothing like wearing a suit. Today is a Saturday. I threw on this suit. I was kind of dragging my feet to wear this suit, but I'm happy I have it on. I feel great. And it's a shame that no one's wearing suits like they used to. Well, actually, the suits that guys used to wear were about two sizes too big on them anyway. It's good to change with the times. Wearing a suit without a tie ends up Dressing down your suit makes it feel a bit more comfortable, makes you appear a bit more approachable, in my opinion, in a casual situation. Let's talk about how to wear a suit without a tie. All right, so tip number one is obviously, if you watch my suit video that I recently uploaded, how a suit should fit, and you wanna make sure that your suit fits nice and snug. You can wear it open, you can wear it closed. It's not gonna be too crazy. So the next tip too, actually has to do with the dress shirt, because your dress shirt has to fit you equally as well. If your collar's not standing upright or you constantly got a placket, which is just falling down all the time, it's not gonna look as nice. I mean, picture this. You can't have this going on. You can't have the placket going on not so crazy like that. You wanna make sure, do whatever you can. So you don't want your collar to give up on you like that. There are options out there to take care of that. Um, one that comes to mind is, what's the name of it? Um, the thing that goes into the shirt right here, you can sew it in. I got some, I never put them in, but I think it's a great idea. There's another one called Slick Collar. You can make your collar stand up. But if you choose a dress shirt that has a nice rigid collar and a nice placket, you're not really gonna have that issue. It's still gonna look pretty good. Another thing you can do too is you can put a piece of tape right here just to hold it together. And when all else fails, just button that top button. It's gonna make a world of difference. You guys can probably see I was struggling a little bit right there. You wanna make sure that your collar is fitting properly. You don't want it to go over your suit like that. It's just gonna to look too messy. Uh, almost kind of like you get a stain on your shirt and no one's telling you. You want it to just be nice. You don't want it to be too big, too small because you don't have a lot of leeway with this collar open. It leaves a lot of room for collar gap. Along with a nice fitting suit, you gotta make sure that your dress shirt's fitting you nice and slim. Don't be afraid to play with pocket squares like this one in white or this one in a nice light blue paisley. I really like this one and if I was wearing this outfit right now, I'd probably end up just wearing this and I think this looks look great. It really dresses down the outfit. This is a pretty, you know, really at first glance, it just looks like I got home from work from my banking job and just threw my tie off because I was tired. But if you put something right here, it looks like you actually decided not to wear a tie that day versus just taking your tie off because you got tired of it. Yeah, dressing it up with accessories, pretty cool. Also, this is a great opportunity to get some lighter shades of brown. I don't have any walnut colored shoes or it's light tan. This is about as light as I go. But if you wear these, especially if you're wearing this type in the summertime, it can really make it pop because when you don't have that tie on your suit, you have to kind of pay attention to other areas and how are you gonna make it look a little bit more fun? Because you're going more casual, maybe it's time to throw in that pocket square like we were just talking about and wear those medium brown shoes, wear that nice belt, maybe you throw on a better watch, get rid of your dress watch, wear something like the SKX, a little bit of color. You could throw on a gingham shirt, you could throw on a, a different color pattern shirt, and it's just gonna look great. You guys might also consider getting a suit that doesn't have such a rigid structure like this one does. If you have a suit that's a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more casual, it's just gonna be a little bit easier to wear that without a tie. In the cooler months, you guys might want to try layering with a thin v-neck sweater like this one okay see that just adds some extra depth to your outfit you know you can really if you're a perfectionist like me and you really if you really like the details like i do you can make it so that you can see the sweater as well as the shirt underneath the cuff this side too it just kind of it's just something nice it adds a lot of people don't do this they don't take advantage of it i don't know why i think that thin v-neck sweaters are easily one of the best fall and winter parts of your wardrobe. We'll do a video about that in the future. And so this is just a nice way to really dress down that suit that you've got. You wanna wear it to Thanksgiving dinner. You don't wanna feel like you're going into a business meeting. Maybe you got some friends that are making fun of you saying, oh great, my accountant's here. We're gonna go over my portfolio. Me, I would just steer right into that and just say, absolutely, let's talk about your stocks. Let's talk about retirement. Let's talk about taxes. Anyway, 
But yeah, this is just a great fun way to press down that suit. And if you get a bit warm, you can just go ahead and take that jacket off and you still look well dressed. You got your V-neck sweater on, white dress shirt, dark blue. They're dress pants now, they're, even though they're part of a suit, but you're wearing them as dress pants only. You got your brown shoes on, brown boots, still looks good. You still look polished, still look put together. You don't look like you're walking into a business meeting. You don't look too formal, still having fun, still nice, relaxed, but well dressed. Also, with dressing down the suit and foregoing the tie, you also might consider getting something that has a little bit less of a structured shoulder. This suit has a really nice structured shoulder. It's great. It builds up my shoulders. If I button it up, it slims my waist, like we were saying in that last video I posted a little while ago. But it's very formal, and getting a jacket that's a little bit less structured, a little bit more casual, is going to play a little bit better. I don't have a full suit like that, but give me one second. Boom. All right, so this is my sport coat, also from the same company, which, by the way, this suit, this sport coat from Suit Supply, I think they're phenomenal. You can see this one, this sport jacket right here, it doesn't really have a much of a shoulder. It's pretty soft, very minimal padding. Um, so this really is so much better without a tie. I mean, you can still do it with the other one, but if I was going to wear a suit without a tie all the time, and I wasn't looking for something that was going to interviews or weddings or super formal events, then I'd probably get something more casual like this. They do make matching pants for this, but I just got this one to match with my jeans and khaki colored chino pants that I wear. So you guys could also see, if you have a keen eye, change my pocket square, just a nice little red one right there. Well, white with red border. That about wraps it up, guys. Hope I opened up your eyes. You could still wear a suit and be stylish, but have fun. You're not going to look like you're too uptight, too dressed up. Just kind of put a little bit more thought into it. Layer with a sweater if it's in the cold, colder months. Maybe get a pattern shirt if it's in the warmer months. Play with your pocket squares. Wear a more fun watch. And don't be scared to leave your black or dark brown dress shoes. Don't be scared to give them the day off right here. Got my medium brown dress shoes. I got my medium brown belt sticking out. I mean, you know, going without that tie, there's just a whole bunch of other things that pull the look together and can also give it more character. Gentlemen, as always, Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. See you guys next time. Stay stylish. Stay confident. Thanks for watching.